Hi, Carol here, and welcome back to my craft room. Okay, I have two things to say. Number one, my first um, case of card for my blog I thought was not going to be a huge success because it did not turn out the way I wanted it to. Second, I tried again and I was not going to download that second video because it did not come out the way I wanted it to. All I wanted was a little wee goldfish jumping out of a goldfish bowl. <laughs> What's so hard about that? <laughs> well, anywho, uh, you will see in that video if you watch it that I got some amazing colors using my Crayola watercolors and here's some of them here that I ended up having and I used the Stampin' Up! Uh, gorgeous Grunge set to get all my bubbles there which I didn't throw this away because I'm going to use it as cutout images but my first fish looked like a octopus squid thing and my next one didn't look any better but I've got some uh, crystal effects on the eyeball there can you see it and I'm keeping this one and I cut out the bowl right here the because I liked it and I'm going to salvage it now I was going to make a card six seven and a half by six so I have all of my I have my big card base right here that I made out of my uh, that box of tag um, cardstock so I cut that down and then I just went down a sixteenth of an inch on black navy orange and white and I was going to do this and then I cut the same out of four more to put on the inside and I was totally going to vintage this out and go crazy so I was looking for some stuff and then my mojo switched I thought, no, I am getting that out of the garbage and I am going to recoup my Case of Card Monday project. And this is how I'm going to do it. I found one of my, well, I didn't find it, it was sitting over there, but I found um, one of my gift bags. I bought a bunch of these gift bags, which you will know because I posted it on my blog. And... Um, let me just cut this and then I bought this if you go back about a year ago and you look on my blog you will see that I did a haul where I bought some wedding dresses to get all of the lace off of and I bought this beautiful train this nine or ten foot train and it had all of this antique lace on it right here so I cut the corner already cornered off for me I didn't have to sew it or anything and I am going to make a vintage birthday bag because you can never have too many birthday bags, can you? Uh, you can have too many birthdays. <laughs> ah. Listen, I've had 60 of them. I can speak from experience. And um, But you can't have enough birthday bags. I'm just cutting some of this off. So uh, if you're looking to get lace, and it's expensive, when you go to Joann's or any place that sell it by the yard or the meter, whatever, it's too expensive. So go to the thrift store, get out there and buy yourself a wedding gown or a wedding train or uh, anything where you can cut the lace off and, it, and it's worth it. You know, I think... Oh, I can't remember back then how much I paid. But anyway, I found this that I got in my, um, oh, um, what are those roll-up things? My, I'm trying to see here, made by Faber-Castell, my gelatos. This was in my gelatos. It was a little uh, booklet that they give you free when you buy the gelato set. So I had it there in my drawer. And look at waves perfect for this. It's almost like I was set out, it was on purpose that I could not pull this together. And some days we have off days and we don't pull things together. So let's, I found this flourish in my stash. I have some jute. I mean, this just came together. Okay, so that's where we're going with it. 
And so I started searching for more stuff. And in my search, the funniest thing, I mean, so funny. I They had the beach theme last week over on uh, Stamp Nation with Catherine Pooler. And I wanted to do some beach cards. And I wanted to do some easy peasy cards. You know, the just the one page cards. They, It's hard for me to do those. But they look so beautiful when other people do them. And when I was at the thrift store not too long ago, I did a haul on this. It's summer foam stamps. Now, can you get any more beachy than this? You've got, I thought this was cheese slices, but it's a bikini. <laughs> that shows you where my mind is. It has a kite. It has summer. It has a uh, splash. Splish, splash, it says. Everything you want for cards. So I know that it's over and I know that um, you know they're going to be going on to bigger and better things but I'm making myself some cards out of that some one layer cards yes Catherine you will be so proud of me but right now I am going to get my orange shark squid goldfish thing on this bag because I know my grandchildren always come over my sons their wives Hey, do you have a birthday bag? And I always say, yeah, they make them all the time at the dollar store. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Of course, I go down and find them one. But now I'm going to make some. So let's get on it. So the first thing I'm going to do is determine that, of course, this is the front. Then I found some Bow Bunny. I have tons of these I bought when they had this big sale a few months back. And... Um, I really liked if you never try you'll never know he's jumping out of the goldfish bowl it's perfect so I'm going to use that I found some tags that I don't know where I got them out of some set but I'm going to use those because they look vintage and um, I might try and fix these up after I uh, get it all situated but it looks pretty good to me for just a bag going out so Let's put all of this on, and I'm just trying to think how I'm going to put that on right there, but it's probably the same way I'm going to put all of this on, right? So I want to get out a nice bow. I don't know, I just see this staring right at me. Now it fell on the floor. Let me see. Where did it go? I didn't hear it hit the bottom. Oh, I guess that one's not meant to be. So let's try another one here. I kind of liked that myself. I'm on my ribbon stash here. Let's see. Um, what I have in here that might look nice on that this two-tone gray might be nice um, I don't want white I don't want pink but green is nice hmm this is just my stamping up the tired ribbon here pretty box isn't it I might end up ripping some of that off and using it but anyway I'll put that away maybe bows aren't what I'm supposed to have on there we'll see so I grabbed some cheesecloth and some of this bag of pearly stuff and let's get at her okay so I guess happy birthday and this is going to be my little um, see I wanted to put feathers out the side but we're going to see how I'm going to uh, get that to come out half normal so I have the blue but I want to antique the bag so I will add some of that blue in there I'm going to get everything out of the way so I can work here and so, I think I will use some gathered twigs, some walnut steam, 
some brushed corduroy and spiced marmalade. I can't believe I'm not putting in any um, Lucy. Uh, rusty hinge looks good, but let's grab that. And let's see how that goes. I'll start out with the spiced marmalade. And take this off. I love these round. But you know what? As I'm looking at it, I think I'm going to use some of my homemade ones. That looks good. Spiced marmalade. I have a spiced marmalade. I make these out of dowels I get at the thrift store and then I put the color and I write what it is on the bottom. So I'm using the Tim Holtz inks and I am going to antique this and the orange is awesome. Let me put my this one. I'm going to darken this one. So I'm just looking at it. I think I'm going to do it on this as well. There we go. See how what happens after you make a mistake? A lot of this is going to be covered up. So. I'll just do this one side and maybe on another video I will capture the other side for you. But I was not going to download that video only because everything went wrong. But you know there were some things that went right. So if you can grab something from the things that went right, you'll be able to a nice watercolor card. I had fun over on Stamp Nation for that uh, challenge. And another thing I entered is the um, with Jennifer McGuire and Christina Warner. They had that uh, $25, $5 off, $20 actually, stamp class too that's going on, the online class. And don't forget to do your um, handles. There we go. Isn't that an awesome color? Spiced marmalade. Yowzers, that's nice. And I'm just going to concentrate on this. And look at how it matches my fish. Yikes, this is perfect. Alright, let's get the lid on that. And move on. Put the lid on properly. There we go. I'll just start stacking them there. Then let's gather some gathered twigs. Because I don't know how much of this is going to show. Hmm. I'm just looking for something that's brown. I guess this is good. Oh, it's so juicy. Look at that. Let's just age this. Can you see that? This will dry nicely. It's almost like it was meant to be. Some days, it's funny how you end up in your craft room you think I could make a dozen cards with the time I've spent just making mistakes and trying to pull it together. But I just move on. I go downstairs, do a little bit of housework, fold a little bit of laundry, make a little bit of lunch, sit and have my devotions, do a little bit of reading. And then I come upstairs because you don't want to get frustrated, you know? Not worth it. This is very fallish. I love it. I 
then I want to pull some of the blue because I do have the blue. So I think I'm going to switch gears here and grab some of the salty ocean. And pull some right lightly on top. Like this. Mm. Really pretty. It almost looks like um, peacock feathers, but it's not. Unless I had some of the peacock feathers on this applicator, which it looks like I did beforehand. So it's giving me a deceiving color. Really pretty. Okay, keep going. Let me see how much of this I'm going to be covering. That's important. And then let's give the waves some blue. I'm just challenging you to, if you see something, I want to run the same colors. These are lovely. You can get these cards, like um, corrugated cards, at um, in boxes. I don't know as much as they're wavy. I really like this wave. But you can make your own with that crimper thing I have over there as well. Should I keep to the blues only on this? I'm thinking maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh yes, there's some of that. I love this peacock with this. There we are. That's good. And there we go. Let's see. I'll grab some brushed corduroy. And darken it up with some browns. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? just I tell you. Love it. Okay. Uh, there we go. You can tell I'm starting to get tired when I start looking at stuff and wanting to organize it. I, I just slow down in my mind. It's crazy. All right. So how are we going to do this? Should I grab some of this right here? Lovely. I have to make this, let's fill this in with that, there, okay, so now I want to have some water marks going up in here, so let's get some chip sapphire and our Stampin' Up! set there, gorgeous grunge, and Let's get some on there. I think I'll go this way. Mm. A lot of it's going to be covered, right? So I'm just going to do it that way. And then I'll set this over here. On. There we are, cleaned it off. And I want to do some of these bigger marks. I don't know where it's going to be covered, but that looks good. Yeah. That's nice and clean. 
All right, for now we'll leave that like that. Now, um, how are we going to put this down? Because this is just a, um, let's grab some of that jute. What did I do with that? Okay, and this is the really, really nice stuff here. So, let's just weave that through. Tie it. Can you see what I'm doing here? Tie it like so. Pull on that. Hmm. Actually, I'm seeing something I like right here. I'm not seeing the scissors, but uh, this is this little clip here I have is looking cute to put on there so I'm leaving that out and I'll tie this with something else okay so I've tied that there tie it again and I'm going to tie it in a bow And what I'll do with this is I'll put a glue dot to hold that after. Or should I slip it in there while I'm thinking of it right now? Yes. Right now. So let me grab a glue dot. Just sneak that in, twirl it around my fingers, and then put it up inside there so it holds that bow on the jute because the jute's slippery and I don't want it to come undone. So you just poke it in there, fits nicely with your poker tool. There, can't even see that now, can you? Isn't that a cute bow? It's beauteous. Okay, I'm running out of time here, so this I am going to put down with my, I want it to stick, so I'm using my half inch APG gun, my scotch. There we are. And I want to slide some of this under there. Some of my cheesecloth. There we are. I get this at the dollar store. There we go. Feels good to get to get everything out and start um, working on a project. And then I'm just going to slide this behind there like that. And I'll decide what I'm going to do with it after. It's going to go on the side like this. Okay. We'll work on that. Where's some of my... Let's grunge this up just a little bit. I don't like that it's so white. There we are. And I'll use some glue on that after. Let's get my fish bowl with some dimensionals on it. And I'm just doing an overview. I'll post a picture of how it looks when I've finished. I'm going to use some of this uh, double-sided tape that I always pick up. ordered a big one for, I think it was 39 I don't know, it was on um, a Joanne's, the big scotch roll. It's well worth it. They had uh, Tim Holtz alcohol inks um, on sale for $2.99 each and they have, I think, over 30 colors. I ordered uh, all the ones that I didn't have 
But the new colors, I was surprised. Gorgeous. See, look at it. I'm almost used this up just by this little bit in my roll. Craziness. But like I said, you get double sided tape at the dollar store. A great big roll. So I'm going to see how each of them works. And then I'll decide. Okay, so as I'm looking at this, I know this sounds crazy, but that looks like it needs to be cut right there. And I'm going to put that in the center. And of course I'll think of other things. Let's grab my pouncer. Can I just turn on the floor? vintage this out and I wonder if I have enough on the green here I do sometimes you don't even have to grab your ink look at that and then I'm going to put this up here to hold who knows what I don't want to forget that that's there my time is running out uh, two minutes I want to do this flourish. Now isn't this going to make a nice uh, bag? And you match it up like I'll get some orange, blue and brown tissue and put it in there. And I'll have him right there. after all well, just look around your craft room and you will find all kinds of good stuff okay so this is going to he's jumping out so I'm thinking I don't know if I want to do that but I did okay There he is, jumping out. I'm going to make some whole lot of nice big bubbles up here out of the crystal effects. 32 seconds. Underneath here, I'm going to put this. I'm going to color that all the way like that. And it turned out nice, I think, to have a gift bag. What do you think? Leave me a comment and let me know. And this is my case of card Monday and the picture will go above how I completed it and have yourself a blessed week.